Geelong has produced an incredible 38-point win against Collingwood in the grand final. Rookie coach Chris Scott lost star forward James Podziadli to injury before half-time. That made the victory all the more remarkable. It was a terrific game up until three-quarter time, and that's when the Cats turned it on. Jimmy Bartell adding the Norm Smith medal to his long list of achievements. Question marks surrounding Geelong star Steve Johnson were answered pre-game. Grand final intensity on display for all to see. The opposing coaches more relaxed before the G erupted inside 15 seconds. Farko can go all the way. Runs to 45. Travis Farko! Oh, what a start for the Cats! The Cats grabbed two quick ones before the reigning Premier's All-Australian big man gave them a spark. It's coming back. He's made it easily. Stevie J's dicky knee forgotten as the Cats kept their noses in front. This will test the knee, is it OK? Looks all right from here. Collingwood's second term revival was ironically kick-started by their own comeback story. Cracker, cracker, cracker! Cloak's confidence sky high as the Pies jumped to a three-goal break. He's working it back, buddy style. Geelong's wobbles were then compounded when James Podziardley was subbed out with a badly dislocated shoulder. And while Cracker had it on a string at times and grabbed three for the half, the Cats' own magician kept them in touch. Steve Johnson can load up from 50 metres out and Steve Johnson does the business. Some brilliance from a Brownlow medalist reducing the half-time margin to single figures. His big moments in grand finals and the ball was in the hand. Retiring cat Cam Mooney's words of wisdom seemed to work wonders when the tomahawk came out firing. It's full forward, it's short, it's Hawkins! And it's Geelong in front. It looked like luck was against Geelong when another grand final goal umpiring blunder handed the Pies an answer. But the J-Pods replacement bobbed up with impeccable timing. Duncan for Geelong, kicks the goal. The response from the defending champs, hardly surprising. The Pies know they have to come again. The third turn belonged to a much maligned cat. And then Hawkins does it again! Tommy Hawkins! Under the spotlight, Tom Hawkins was making his mark on the biggest stage of all. And when he wasn't grabbing it, he was handing them off. Plays on. Johnson. He handballs to Johnson, who kicks the goal! Travis Varko's silky skills shooting the cats to a game high 21 point break. Varko casually kicks the left foot goal! Fittingly, it was the miracle man on hand to land the knockout blow. But this is where he is, on the main stage, kicking the match-winning goal. But the icing on the cake was reserved for the Mayor of Geelong. To the captain, this should be sweet. A sweet goal to Cameron Ling. Almost 100,000 fans on hand to witness Geelong consolidate their position in the game's history. There it is. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. The Cats prove themselves as one of the greatest teams of the modern era. Adam Curley, Fox Sports News.